The Medieval Justice System. Brought to you by Grace B. and Cuddy. Before they could punish the criminals, they had to make sure they were guilty. These were called ordeals. Ordeals are very interesting, and there's a few ways they did them. The first way is they made the accused criminals get a ring out of a pot of boiling water. They would wrap up their hands, and after three days, they would check and see if the wounds were starting to heal. If they started to heal, then the accused criminal would be innocent, and if not, they were guilty. They also did the same method, but instead of using boiling water, they used hot rods. Another way is they tied up the criminal so he couldn't move, and they threw him in a large body of water. If the criminal sunk when he died, then he was guilty. If he rose to the top when he died, he was innocent, but dead anyways. And finally, there is such thing called a duel. If the accused criminal won, they were innocent, and if they lost, they were guilty. The medieval people relied on God to take care of the criminals if they were innocent, causing their hands to heal, them to float, or them to win their duel. So, what if these criminals were guilty? Let's just say they did not have a very bright future. The medieval ages consisted of so many death penalties, there's too many to count. Depending on the seriousness of the crime, and the type of crime committed, the criminals would either be tortured or tortured and then prosecuted. So, what kind of death penalties, you ask? Do you really want to know? One type of death penalty was called the brazen bull. Criminals are put in it and then burned alive. It became so sophisticated that the Greek put together a series of tubes that made the victim's scream sound like a angry ox. Next, there was a rat torture. The criminal was restrained to a horizontal surface, such as the ground. The rat was placed on the victim's stomach and then covered with a metallic container. And as the metallic container was heated up, the rat would try and look for a place to escape. And they would go right through the person's stomach. The rat digging the hole would cause hours of awful pain, and usually resulted in death. This instrument is called the rack torture. The victim's hands would be tied to the top and legs to the bottom, and as the wheel spun, their arms and legs would become dislocated. And in some instruments, there were spikes in the people's spine to make the pain even more intense. These were used to get confessions out of criminals. And if they did not confess, the wheels would keep on turning and sometimes their arms would rip right out. Next, like mentioned before, there was drowning. The victim's hands and feet would be tied and they would be thrown in a large body of water. This instrument was called the Maiden of Nuremberg and it was a coffin-like structure that had spikes that penetrated the parts of the body except for the vital organs so the victim stayed alive and suffered for a very long time until finally dying. This fun looking thing is called the Inquisitional Chair and it's basically self-explanatory. The chair was covered with spikes and the victims were forced to sit on it and sometimes the chair was even heated. This object is called the heretic fork, and it was two forks pressed up against each other with a kind of a collar-like structure, and part of it do dug into the bottom of their chin, and part of it into the top of their chest. This was mostly used for torture. Death was avoided, but it was very painful. Which one do you think is the worst? What is the police force like, you might be wondering? Well, there was none. Law enforcement was in the hands of the community. The manorial court dealt with most of the crimes. It was held at various intervals during the year. 
Men were placed in groups of ten called the tithing. Each tithing had to make sure a member of their group didn't break a law. And if they did, they had, the members of the tithing had to make sure that person went to court. The medieval ages is infamous for its justice system, and now you know why.